Hey guys, what's up? New toy. So, what do I have here? If you've seen some of my other videos, then you know that I'm kind of in that software-defined radio. At least I'm trying to get into it, so. Um, like I'm trying to get into, I'm actually I'm studying for my ham license right now. So I'm not really transmitting, them, but I'm just learning this stuff and, and uh, trying to figure it all out. But uh, so yeah, I guess I wasn't really. I just basically told you what I was doing here. What do I have here? So bought this on Amazon, and what is it? It's a. I think it's about 53 bucks. That's it on Amazon. And it's a wideband RTL, sorry, wideband RTL SDR uh, radio. So the difference between this and a regular USB, uh, let me grab it real quick. Here, here's one of my, uh, I have a few of these different dongles. I keep one in my car too for my uh, tablet, my tablet bag. But that's a USB RTL SDR. So the difference between this one is this actually has a built-in up converter, which will me allow allow me to get down to the uh, HF band. Uh, I guess it's called shortwave radio. You know, under uh, 30 megahertz, so I can pick up. Uh, hopefully, I'm, my goal is to pick up people around the world. Uh, but right now, I don't have a an antenna that's able to do HF. You know, at least it's not designed for HF. So. Uh, let me go show you that real quick, but it's a uh, one of those Radio Shack disc own antennas, but Yeah, so uh, the cool thing about this device is it actually has two different in antenna inputs. It has one for uh, UHF and VHF and one for uh, HF, so Yeah, I guess I'm gonna need to get a second antenna for uh, HF But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna get one of those like dipole ones the uh, Metal ones, but let me show you my uh, roof antenna real quick see that but that's a uh, Radio Shack disc own antenna and I think it trans or receives from like 30 megahertz up to like 1.3 gigahertz. And you can transmit too on that thing and uh, the 144 and uh, 440 range. I guess 2 meter and uh, 70 centimeter. But uh, light here. So what I'm going to do is um, open this up here and uh, see what it come with. It came with a, a USB. Mini USB, I guess that's not micro USB, but it's, I guess it's considered mini USB. And what else? Came with an antenna with an SMA connector on it. A little gold SMA connector. And I guess I'll try it, see if it works. Maybe I might be able to pick up something on the uh, HF band. But uh, okay, SMA connectors, USB. So I wonder how it's going to auto switch between the frequencies. Kind of curious about that. Yeah, it feels kind of loose in there. So what I do is, I'm gonna grab my Phillips screwdriver and I take this apart so you can see internally what this thing looks like. You know, I, I guess I'm kind of curious to see like what the if it's actually built on board the the uh, RTL the Realtek chip, or if it's actually like a USB dongle that's kind of like put on the actual board. So, all right, let's find out. Take this thing off and see what happens here. Can okay, give you a better view. Phillips, oh, pretty tight. All right, I'll come back and get these things off. Have the screws off, and let's see. I guess I'm curious to see what this board looks like. Huh. Interesting. So, yeah, that's that's a trip. Look at that. See, I, I noticed that a lot of people were doing this, this sort of thing, but this actually looks like you see the little antenna connector. I guess it's like a. I don't know if it's not called SMA. It's like micro. I forget what it's called. MCA or MCX connector. I think that's what it's called. And. That is actually almost like the exact size of this dongle. I mean, if you look at this and you compare the two of that board, 
it literally is, I, I mean, it's probably the exact, uh, I mean, because it's actually in the same location as the MCX connector, almost identical, and the USB would be soldered right there. So, let me get a second, get some better light, but that's the MCX connector right there. They're lined up. That's where the USB would be connected right there, soldered onto the board. So, that literally, I think, is the exact same piece in there. So, that's just basically one of these USB dongles. They bought the, whatever, the internals from this company, or whoever makes that thing, and, uh, Looks like they soldered the uh, USB connections on the board there. But I'm not really sure what does the up converter. Yeah, like I said, I'm still learning this stuff, so if I don't have the names right, uh, don't make fun of me. You know, like I said, I'm learning. I haven't got my hand license yet. I'm just still kind of learning this stuff, so. Interesting, though. You know, like, uh, it seems like a lot of things are starting to go to wireless now, so I figured I'd learn a little bit more about RF, you know. You know, wireless internet, wireless charging. You know, everything is becoming wireless, so. Um, cool, so let's fire this up. I'm going to be uh, using SDR Sharp. And I guess for now, I'm going to hook up that antenna that came with it for the... Uh, see if I can pick up some uh, HF. Yeah, I, I'm guessing I want to try to pick up 20 meter. See if I can pick up any uh, any signals there. But All right, I'm going to put this back together and we'll get hooked up. Antenna that comes from the roof, that antenna I showed you. And I already have an adapter connected to it. I guess the, I, I don't know, I can't remember if it's MCA or MCX, what that's called. A little tiny connector, but um, I'll take that off. And I'm going to hook it to, uh, obviously I can't pick up HF on this thing. I'm going to hook up this, uh, my disco antenna to the UV. Or, oh, shit. That is female. That's male, so that should work. Okay, there we go. And I'm not gonna get everything perfectly situated yet. Then I'll open up this antenna. And hook it up to the HF. Let's see if I can get anything. But eventually, yeah, I'm gonna get a nice big antenna for my roof, like a big old like a uh, I guess they call them dipole. I'm not even sure. It's the one with the two wires that comes out, you know, it connects and separates. So, okay, I got that a little bit out. Um, this is a magnetic. Let me open it here. I have a candle up there, so if you're wondering what I'm. It's Christmas time, so I do have Christmas decorations up, but. So I have it connected to this metal like thing I have on the wall, this candle holder. And that might have might mess it up. See, you know, like I said I'm still learning this stuff, so just have to figure it out as I go. And this is my, uh, I already have the drivers loaded for my other RTL, so I don't know if I need to reload these again or, or what, but I will see. And I do have a USB hub here, so I'm not use that. And Well, I guess I need to log into Windows first. I'll come back into Windows and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, cool. So next thing is uh, I'm going to be uh, logging into Windows and you'll see me uh, video on the Windows. All right. All right, guys. Um, have this thing connected. Uh, you can see that I have it connected. To, I actually switched them around. I actually have the uh, HF antenna connected to my uh, overhead disc on antenna. And then I have uh, the UHF, VHF connected to the smaller one. That way I can at least get some sort of a better signal. And uh, I already had an RTL installed before, so I didn't have to reinstall the drivers, but uh, let me show you the process of uh, doing the uh, uh, SDR Sharp. Like if you didn't actually have the drivers installed already, you have to go to the SDR Sharp folder and run this program, the uh, ZA Dig program, and let it run. Where'd it go? Where'd the little program go? Oh, there it goes. And then you have to list all the devices and then choose the RTL adapter. And then because I already have it installed, I don't have to, it gives me the option to reinstall, but if you didn't have it installed, it'd give you the option to install. So just go ahead and install it and uh, follow the directions. But let me show you uh, a couple of the settings I had to do uh, to make it work. But uh, you're probably not gonna be able to hear the audio because of the way this program works. So, but you can at least see like the waveform here. 
but before with the other RTL dongle, I couldn't pick up CB. I couldn't pick up any of this stuff before, no matter what I did. Um, but to make this work, uh, what's weird is these settings only work for frequencies under 30 megahertz. So uh, let me show you real quick. So if I'm below 30 megahertz, I have to use this Q branch direct sampling, and that's how I seem to I, I, to get it. And then if I'm above 30 megahertz, let's say if I'm in the uh, 144 range or the uh, 440 range, 2 meter or 70 centimeter, I use the uh, quadra sampling. That's how I pick it up. FM radio, that kind of stuff. Uh, marine band, that's how I'm picking that up on the quadra sampling. Because I won't pick it up if I have it in this Q, Q, uh, direct Q sampling branch. Can't pick it up. So, All right, so to make that work, under 30 megahertz, I had to go direct sampling. And I didn't have to change this. That seemed to work fine. I had tried the uh, 2040 and it worked fine either way so I mean I couldn't tell a difference so and then hit let's play and like I, in my speakers I can actually hear the audio talking now like for some reason by default it wants to enable USB I can kind of hear the audio signal but it's not very clear but once I go to AM it uh, goes pretty clear so cool yeah, kind of fun, man. Kind of, it's uh, interesting, you know. I'm, I'm an IT guy, and I uh, kind of interesting. I guess it's yeah, it's radio frequency. I'm kind of new to the technology, so it's you know, it's been around for so long. It's been around since the '50s or '40s. I'm not even sure, you know, the uh, ham radio. But yeah, but the main reason I got it is it's just in case there's some sort of emergency. You know, I have a way to be able to, you know, if there's some major emergency, the cell phone towers aren't going to work. So I wanted to be able to. Be able to pick up audio signals and uh, transmit in case I had to talk to somebody. But yeah, my only way, since I'm studying for the ham license, I can't really transmit. But in case the shit does hit the fan, I do actually have a little Bayo thing here. Uh, it's called a GT3. So I'm not totally dead. And I have a CB radio. And I also have a, on my, I also have a, uh, uh, a boat radio too. I uh, can't remember if it's VHF or UHF. I think it's a VHF. So, but yeah, that's how it works. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm picking up channels now that I, never, I could never even pick up before. But I haven't been able to get to, down to something there. I don't know. I mean, it's just going to be a matter of experimenting with this thing and trying to figure it out. But I mean, it works out of the box. So I'm pretty stoked with that. I mean, I was reading a lot of different, there was a lot of different reviews on, on Amazon where I bought this. It was like 53 bucks. Uh, a lot of people said this thing didn't work. I mean, maybe this didn't have the right settings. I, I don't know. So it worked for me. So stoked on that. Yeah, cool. I can pick them up. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. All right. Cool.